How to stop thinking about food all the time. Ever said that one before? I get, and, and that comes up a lot. You know, I, I want to get in shape, get fit, get more mobile, lose weight, fit into certain clothes again. And it's really important to me, but I don't want to be thinking about food all the time. It's a really interesting one. Like, you know, you've got tracking food, you've got all of these things. And, and I got a message yesterday that said, the nice thing about this is I'm not thinking about food all the time. Only when I'm planning which is interesting, isn't it? Because if you think about it, whenever in your job, in your work, the reason you plan is so you're not thinking about it all the time. The reason you write a to-do list is so you're not thinking about it all the time. The reason why we book meetings in is so that you're not having to hold everything in your head and you can go, right, I'm having a meeting with them now, so I'm gonna do it, I'll think, talk about that then, but in the, in the meantime, I'm gonna focus on what I've actually gotta do. But yet, when it comes to nutrition and food, Sometimes we have this thing about, I never want to have to think about food, but you're going to have to think about food anyway, whether you're thinking about the takeaway, trying to resist the mini eggs at the petrol station, or whether you've done some kind of planning or have a little simple rule around what you're going to do when you hit those situations. And that's exactly what we do with the one rule. And this comes back a bit back down to how you define failure and discomfort, because it could be that we're trying to avoid discomfort which is a really interesting one because if you if you really try and actively avoid discomfort you get discomfort for example if i avoid planning my meals at all today avoid thinking about what i'm going to have and just go straight to the studio today um with sessions in and out i will i will have to think about food later on a more what am i going to have da, 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 this which is probably going to interrupt my day more so than grabbing something ever so quickly now and taking it with me. So I'm going to have to think about it anyway. And often we're having to then think about takeaways, all that those things. And I was speaking to someone the other day and they were like, yeah, I ended up just getting takeaway. And yet that's going to cost more money than me just planning my meals a little bit. And it still takes an hour. Like I said the other day, I was like, I'll just rang up for a takeaway. And they said, it's going to be an hour and a half. I thought this was fast food. Anyway, different fast food. But a few points here. Avoiding discomfort, you're going to get more of discomfort. We know that, which is weird. And we need to write this down. Like, by avoiding this thing that I'm putting off, does this give me more or less discomfort? Because I'm avoiding it because I don't want the discomfort, but it actually is giving me more discomfort. Now, another point on here is avoiding discomfort can sometimes mean that we choose to sabotage. And we always choose to sabotage because it's still our choice. Now, I'll give you an example of this. If you're trying to follow a low-carb diet, which is something that came up the other day, and you eat a carbohydrate at lunchtime, which might have been a potato, might have been a slice of bread, and you, or you said you wouldn't eat bread until the weekends, whatever it is, and now you eat a slice of bread, you can go, i failed now, I've had carbs. And, and the moment you define that, you decide that you failed, the moment you've let that monkey on your shoulder, the floodgates have opened, you've decided that. Now, I'm choosing to fail. I'm choosing to go rest of the, I've decided that I failed. So it's only when you believe that you failed that you failed. And this can be sometimes, from a subconscious level, us going, it's, this is hard. I'm gonna avoid the discomfort of being a bit in the middle and going, I've had some carbohydrates, even though I was following a low carb diet, which I know from research doesn't make a difference to my fat loss, providing I stay with my overall intake throughout the day. I've actually enjoyed that carbohydrate, it tastes good, it's actually stopped me snacking. Those were actually the observations, yet they were the facts, yet in the head, insulin is gonna put on body fat, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle. Hey Jessica, and if we believe that, then we go into, might as well have a pack of biscuits, might as well have a chocolate. When actually in that moment, there could be a lots of benefits. What was good about having that carbohydrate? Well, it was quite good. It tasted good. It allowed me to be social. Um, I felt like I'm now not missing out. I'm now going to go back to it. They're the facts. Get the facts away from the feelings. And all of a sudden, we'll probably be more likely to avoid discomfort than find discomfort. Yet, by avoiding discomfort, you'll seek more discomfort. Anyway... On that note, if you want more information about our March kickstart, just send me a message. I'll get you the details. Um, I have something cool coming up as well, which I'll reveal more about soon. Anyway, have an awesome Wednesday. Wednesday. It is still Wednesday. Feels like a long day. Anyway.
My glutes are on fire from this morning's session, that's why. So have a good one and I'll see you soon. Take care.